Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video we're going to be looking at how to add a beep to the throttle in EFOS. So this video comes about from a request on YouTube and it was basically how you can add a centre beep but also they wanted a 25% beep uh, in EFOS. Now they didn't necessarily want a beep but some sort of feedback whether that's haptic or a sound or, or whatever. But on a, a lot of radios there's usually just a default option so if you cross the centre it gives a little buzz or something like that so you know you've crossed that threshold. In EFOS that's not something that's just a click on option but I'm going to show you how to set it up now. So let's head over to the workbench. Okay sorry this is offset slightly well, I'm just trying to get lighting so that it looks half decent for you guys. So if you watch my video on flaps this is how the model ended up at the end of this video I've not changed anything so it is basically just a standard uh, model with some flaps and elevator compensation. So to get our throttle beep what we need to do is just use a couple of logical switches. So we we'll head over to our logic switch and let's set the first one for throttle at 50%. So we want an approximately equals switch so the default is already what we want so we're just going to go down click the source and we're going to select our throttle just by moving it. So this range for the value 0 is middle and then you have minus 100 is all the way down and plus 100 is all the way up. So 0 is actually right where we want it and if I put the throttle roughly in the middle you can see the switch activating. So that's the first part done really. I will potentially come back and revisit it because we may want to add a little bit of delay for switching it off uh, just so that it's not too sensitive that sort of thing. What we're going to do is add our special function to get the feedback. So we pop into special functions we'll add a new one and what we're going to do is there oh, there is a haptic which is really nice so let's enable that we're going to set the active condition to our logic switch which we can only choose one that's why we can't go over this side at the moment so what we can do is choose the pattern so if we just want a single long beep that's what's for standard so there you go I don't know if you can hear it but it is doing the haptic now the problem may be you can see if I go backwards and forwards quite a lot it it sort of goes off for quite a long time so what we can do is in our logical switch let's edit that so long press for edit I'm going to set a delay before inactive to say half a second so now if I wibble about it should still only be quite short but I would play with this value until it's where you want it basically to me that half a second is a bit too long so let's try 0.2 yeah that seems about right so that is getting our throttle threshold and we're getting haptic feedback here what was also in the request was to have the same thing but with the throttle at 25% this was uh, for the landing pattern so what I'm going to do is just duplicate or clone this switch and long press to edit and let's just rename this one 25%. Okay, so again, we're, this is exactly the same. And all we're going to do is set this to minus 50, which is going to be 25% throttle. So at the moment, it won't do anything because we don't have a special function set up. So if we go back into special functions, we could just copy this one. So clone, edit it, and we'll just change the logical switch to the 25% throttle. And the reason you might want to do this is because you might want to choose a different pattern. So let's, for example, say we just want a really short haptic at 25% or even a, like a double, something like that. Let's do a double. So 
I know this is very hard to hear if you can even hear it because it is the haptic. But I'm getting a double pulse every time I go through that 25%. So this would be a good reason why you could use two special functions. But if you wanted just to have the same haptic for both, you can either set up two like this and have them identical, or you could set it up using logic. So let's try do that just to show how it's done. So I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to go back into logical switches. And all we need to do is create a new one. And let's call it throttle feedback. So I'm going to abbreviate. And this one, we just want an OR switch. And we're going to use logical switch number one. which is our 50%, and the other OR will also be a logical switch, and it will be our 25% throttle. Oh, that didn't do it. There we go. Right, so now this throttle feedback will work with either of those two. So now we just go back into our special functions, and all we're going to do is edit it, and we're just going to change the active condition to the throttle feedback. So now when I go through 25% or 50, I get the same haptic feedback. So there you go. That is how you can add feedback to your throttle position if you want it. So there you go, guys. I hope this tip was useful if you wanted to add feedback for your throttle. Sorry if you couldn't hear the haptics. You just have to believe me, it was going off if you couldn't hear it over the microphone. Um, the reason I'm using haptics is because I think most cases people would prefer to use the haptic rather than a beep. If you do want to use a beep, unfortunately there's no sort of standard beeps in ethos at the moment, which you know, is something I think they should add. So uh, I think someone's mentioned it uh, before in the, uh, the GitHub feedback. But if you wanted beeps, then you would need to record a little sound file with a beep in it or try and find one online. And you could use that to do a play track and play the beep rather than using the haptics. But I think most people like the haptic. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, please remember to click the subscribe and the bell icon. That will help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to do this too. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you on the next one. And flow your models like you stole them.